Hey folks, in this video we'll show you how we 3D printed a snap fit case for the Adafruit Pi Badge. On the back we have a mic with a print in place hinge so we can flip it open. We made this one for machine learning projects that use TensorFlow Lite. The Pi Badge is secured without any screws and the mic on the back is press fitted to a small hinge door that can swing open. These two components are printed in one piece so it can't be disassembled. To open and close the latch, you can just press on this tab. We think this could be useful for project enclosures like if you need to swap out a battery. You can pop open the case by pressing down on one of the corners. The top half has these little latches that grasp onto the inside of the bottom half. To close the case, the two halves are just pressed together and they make this really nice click. To avoid printing supports, the snaps were designed with 45 degree angles. There's snaps on all four sides, which makes it pretty secure. We can get a good look at the snaps with a cross section. There's a gap or distance between the surfaces. This gives the parts a bit of space so that it allows them to fit nicely. Taking a look at the hinge, you can see how far the door can swing open. It goes a little bit past 180 degrees. Another cross section through the hinge, you can see that there's a little bit more gap here. The latch also has some tolerance and uses 45 degree angles. These parts need a bit of gap, otherwise they could fuse together. A nice way to adjust the tolerance is to apply user parameters. This way we can change a single value instead of adjusting individual features. We have these designs as a free download, so check them out and use them in your projects. And if you're interested in Fusion 360 tutorials, check out our layer by layer playlist. We think snaps are pretty sufficient for these type of enclosures. The case can open and close indefinitely and doesn't seem to be wearing out. We did a couple of drop tests just to see how durable it is. These parts were printed in PLA and they're holding up pretty nicely. So if you got yourself a Pi Badge, definitely check out the TensorFlow Lite voice model. The code runs locally on the device, so there's no need for an internet connection. Check out the quick start guide, links are in the description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.